So what's going on guys, it's your boy Ayo here, and we are in Grim Dawn. I have covered this game on my channel once before, but I figured with, you know, me still being relatively tilted with my drop rates in Diablo, I'd give it another shot. I am still playing the game, I just actually recently hit 68. I'm gonna try to over this next week push to 70 and bump up to T4. I'm also looking for the gear to go back to playing Trample Slide, but that's another video for another time. Uh, so today, like I said, we are in Diablo. We are in Grim Dawn. Um, the cool thing about this class, and it has like this gauntlet. Uh, gauntlet mode where you fight a bunch of waves of enemies you come back here you can get gear stuff like that that's what we're in now that's not what we'll be leveling in I'll be doing the story mode for that um, but as it has been a minute since I played this I did look up some stuff online and it said to do your devotion stuff up here up until you get your first skill unlock so that's what I'm working on now and that'll be what the gameplay will be in the background of this video so pretty much um, here's my character like I said it's a level 15 ritualist and this is level 15 before I hit the story mode um, so I'll just probably run through all of that stuff real quickly uh, we are playing a shaman. I have 16 points into this. The wrong storm. It'll be my main damage source for right now. And then one point in here just to have it. And then for the time being, the rest of my level up points will go into the necromancer. So I will be taking, I will be maxing my tree out here. Maxing this tree out here. Grabbing this stuff here. Yeah, grabbing these two here, maxing this, and then putting points into these two down here. My devotions I haven't quite figured out yet. My skill tree I haven't even really figured out yet. I just know that when I do get the points, it will be going into those trees respectfully. Oh, so that's a fear. So that's actually good. So for right now, all my play style is, is I throw out my AOE ability. It attacks everything in a line with damage over time. They die. I run over to the next pack, do the same. So for this, I normally do Uh, for the first couple levels, because I did do this on a recording before, which I had to drop because I kept getting calls from family members. So I had originally recorded when I first started doing it just so that, you know, everything was on record. On record. Lol. So that everything you know, could be seen as it's done. But this works just as well. Ain't nobody gonna be like, oh my god, yeah, there might be somebody, but everybody gonna be mad at you for some reason, right? So like I said, right now it's a simplistic class play style. Just throw these out. Enemies bleed. And you hit the next wave. The only skill I could see that probably would have been better than this is Bloody Pox. Because I believe it does the same thing. But I believe Bloody Pox transfers it between enemies as you, uh, shit. as it um as it goes 
trying to gather everything up into one area. Those guys, because they can, are going to cast on me from back there. Unfortunately, we're going to lose our bonus. Oh, we didn't lose it. Nice. Alright, so then that's the first part. I'll talk to him to get the next devotion. I think the next one costs five. So, what I can do here is I can stop and grab the last one in story. Which I'll probably do because I think you only get uh... I think you would only get two or three for the next level. But for the sake of this, let's see. So, next level. So this game does come with its own base loose. Oh my god. Base loot filter. I didn't hit y'all. And then there is a, oh, hello. There is a third party one you can grab, which I'll, if I can remember what the name of it is, I'll probably look it up and grab it. So I have it. Oh, y'all is tanky. I just kept my bonus. So because I didn't get it done in the allotted time, I lost the multiplier, but that doesn't really matter that much. So we'll probably stop with this after we hit uh, the next clear. So it clears every 10 stages. Casting this ability, this often does use a lot of energy, as you hear my character say.
So I got one, and completion got me two. So I would have to do another set to five, which really isn't a problem, or to ten, I believe. And I should get the, the other one. You come back here. You open his chest up. And a bunch of gear drops. Uh, it has this basic loot filter. I'm going to turn all the yellow items off. I can come back and grab them. If I want currency, it'll be just gold I'll get off of them. So, 4% damage or 6% damage is fine because I'm stacking resistances and some movement speed. All right, so we're gonna do it one more time to 10 just to get it. Hopefully I did the, the math right and I'm just not making something up in my head. Let's go. So we did level up, so three points here. And next level up, we'll get the Spectral Wraith or Wrath. I'll probably throw another point into our single target. But it's probably best that we just rush the bottom. And then just pick up all the minor stuff as we go. This way as we level up, we can get the incremental like skills and then just the increases that come along with them. See, I think I could have done something like this with an occultist and a necromancer, but I think that more lends towards a uh, pet-based playstyle, which I'm not opposed to. I just don't want to play pets, so... Again, this game, unfortunately, is in its final form. Uh, the devs do do balance changes and balance checks on items and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, there is the um, there is the the lack of in 
There is no more content coming out for this game, unfortunately. So there are no new classes that are going to be introduced. There aren't any more expansions that are going to be put out. Um, the game does have somewhat of a thriving fan base with the people who do play it. Uh, they do run their own private seasons and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of cool. But as far as like just general stuff run by the development team, there is nothing left on that end. All right, so we now have the devotion. So now we have twin fangs and then we'll attach it to this. So every time I cast twin fang, or every time I cast devouring storm, there's a percent chance that, 20% chance that a twin fang will shoot, fang will shoot out. But we can show that off at another time. Uh, it's been me, your boy Ayo, and I'm out. Peace.